darlings, and welcome back to Marzi's Haunted Mansion. We talk about all things creepy and unusual, darlings, with Halloween all year round, darlings. And yes, darling, my favorite candle is October. Who doesn't love a good pumpkin and scare? Let's get to it, shall we? Let's talk spooky. <laughs> this story is called The Haunted Apartment, and it's about a Ouija board. It's just a game, right? What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> a long time ago, darlings, not that long ago actually, in 1991, a woman named Cassie moved into a Reno apartment next to a funeral parlor. Hmm. Hmm. A funeral parlor. Interesting. Obviously, one of her favorite pastimes was to invite girlfriends over and play the Ouija board. Hmm. Is that your pastime? My pastime is art and reading literature. That's my pastime and spending time in my coffin where I loved to pet my cat. Playing the Ouija board is like playing with fire. <laughs> Darlings, but Cassie and her friends didn't think much of it at all. <laughs> so they started playing with it and nothing happened until one day something did happen to Cassie and their friends. <laughs> Well, darlings, now this is really, really scary. And I mean, like, intensely scary. Are you prepared to what I'm going to tell you right now? If I were you, I would turn on all the lights because this is really scary. Cassie's five-year-old daughter would walk in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. every night and stand at the edge of Cassie's bed next to her and scream until Cassie woke up. That's disturbing. How would you like to wake up in the middle of the night at 3am witching hour and find your five-year-old daughter standing right there next to you? I don't know, and maybe some white nightgown and her hair all down and she screams like a scary scream. <laughs> Until Cassie finally wakes up. As Cassie didn't think anything about these linking to the Ouija board or anything paranormal, darlings, she just thought that her daughter was getting used to the new apartment. A new apartment next to the funeral grounds. <laughs> and for the sounds, she thought it was a rusty old pipe. As her theories were put to test with the most strange and disturbing results. And those results were Cassie went out of town and she asked a dear friend of hers that didn't really know too much about her playing the Ouija board. And the friend was like, Oh, yes, darling, I could definitely come over and watch your cats for you or your dogs. And so she did. She came over to Cassie's house and stayed the night. Finally, Cassie came back home and found that nobody was there waiting for her and that her friend was extremely distraught and angry that she didn't tell her that her house was haunted. Cassie's friend told Cassie that when she went to sleep that night, the very first night she came there to take care of the animals, that she was awakened. They woke up to a dark, shadowy figure standing at the side of their bed, watching them sleeping. As they immediately woke up, darlings, and ran out of the house and never came back. After that incident, darling, Cassie realized that all those sounds in her house were actually probably demonic. So what she did is she called a Catholic priest to come over and bless the house with holy water. Cassie's priest told Cassie, you need to get rid of the Ouija board because that is what brought the entity into your house from the neighboring funeral parlor next door. Mm. <laughs> As Cassie 
Cassie's other friends came over and helped Cassie to break the Ouija board. But they couldn't break the Ouija board. So what Cassie did is she grabbed the Ouija board and the planchette and took it to a dumpster far away. And poor Cassie moved out of her house. She never wanted to know anything else from that apartment. She just didn't want to know if anything was occurring there after she moved out. So she never went back to see if anything reoccurred. But she does know that she will never go near a Ouija board again. And she will never play just the game. <laughs> because it's not just a game. And that includes our spooky, creepy, unusual story for tonight, darling. <laughs> Anyways, darlings, if you want to subscribe, please press the subscribe button on the bottom there if you like the content I'm talking about and you want to hear more. And if you really like the content I'm talking about, press the like button. <laughs> Thank you so much if you do. Well, darlings, I'm off to a pumpkin patch with my vampire. We're going to uh, suck some pumpkins dry and draw a face on them with knives and do some really cool fun stuff darlings <laughs> so have a nice night